Hello my honeys, welcome back. I am Bumblebee Fern and today we are going to be doing our April 2020 witchy subscription box side by side. So let's get to it. So I actually decided to do this month a little bit different. We are going to um, kind of take a look. I have set everything up already as you can see and you can even see me right there. Hello. So that we can kind of blow through this a little bit faster and you can kind of see everything side by side. I mean, if you want to see a more in-depth unboxing, I have each of the unboxings up on my channel. You can find the playlist down below or I will probably link it up here somewhere. But then at the end of this video, I will be doing a giveaway and then if we can squeeze it in I will also be doing the little spell that I have planned with some of the items I have chosen from each of my boxes so let's get to it all right so in our first box we have the witch's moon and this month was the witch's talisman empowerment so we got a bunch of amazing items the star of this month was this beautiful medicine bag right here and it was a very, very gorgeous, gorgeous month. It very much had Native American vibes to it, and it came with a bunch of different things that you don't normally see. Definitely a different energy than normal with the Witch's Moon, so that was very cool. And then it also came with four different um, intention. Book of Shadows works with different matching sigils that came with them, so that's very, very neat. The Witch's Bounty. I decided to set it up a little bit differently so that we could actually see everything in there without blocking, but it came with this beautiful artwork. The star was this gorgeous Zaharkamar diamond pendant, and it, it's the Cosmic Compass. So it was super pretty. This piece in the middle moves, and I'm actually going to be using this as a, um, as a meditation charm. So when I do meditations, I will be able to have that, and it will help me connect to that space that I have created. So it also came with this gorgeous, gorgeous crystal. Look at this. I have not ever had, I have never had one of these before and it has the most mystical essence. I don't even really know how to explain it, but I actually really, really like this stone. I usually don't use um, polished stones as much. I really like working with raw stones, but I absolutely loved it this month. So that is the Witch's Bounty. Next, we had the Witch's Roots, and this month was the Plant Guide. So definitely my vibes this month. It came with yarrow, and the definite star of the show was this um, beautiful botanical oracle deck that I've been using every morning. I pull a card, and it has the most beautiful messages. I highly recommend that deck, even if you don't get the box. Um, you can go check it out. It is The Language of Flowers by Sherilyn Darcy. And then it came with a selenite heart and a beautiful purple candle, plant guide anointing oil. It was a great, a great, great month for the witch's roots. We have the tiny cauldron. So I got their mystery witchcraft box this month and it came with these amazing, amazing items. I got a bunch of oils, a bunch of salts and a sachet. So go ahead and check out that unboxing if you are interested. But yes, make sure you go check out the tiny cauldron if you are interested in any of these items. They also have a large range of other items that aren't were included in this box. Um, next time, I, if I do get another one of these boxes, I will definitely ask her to kind of give me a broader range of items so that I can show you all. Um, she probably knows that I absolutely love these oils. So... I am not complaining, but I definitely want to get my hands on some of the different types of items she carries so I can show all of you lovelies out there what she has available. So I highly suggest this box for um, either, I mean, I guess it works for everybody really, but um, more experienced witches. You can go actually tell her your intention or the things that you are working with. Um, at the time or you were interested in working with and she will kind of cater that box to you So I think that is something amazing that you can't really do with any of the other subscription boxes And if you're a baby witch, I mean you can go over there and tell her um, Ask her to kind of help you get started and I'm sure she would love to help you 
help give you just a plethora of items that you can get started on your journey with. So she also, they have so many different kinds of kits and mystery boxes and different tools for you to use in your witchcraft journey. So I highly, highly recommend them. Go check them out in the link below. Next we have our Midnight Muses. So this month was focused on Wormwood and Artemis and it was an amazing, amazing month, like always. Um, I actually have been delving in a lot more into Artemis because she is the um, one of the triple goddesses and she is connected to both Selene and Hecate. So I actually follow both of those goddesses and it ended up being an amazing union between the three of them from the moon, the earth, and then the underworld. So an amazing box. I've already started using my absinthe black candle for the protection spell in one of my resin pieces. You can check that out up above and um, as well as the jasper piece that we got. We're going to be using a lot of items from this box in our ritual. So stay tuned for that. So the next box was Sugar Muses Deluxe. I'm absolutely in love with this box. I decided to take it out because it has this gorgeous 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 dream catcher that you can see here it is super long i'm going to try to not wiggle you guys around too much but look at this beautiful dream catcher it has an amazing feathers and it is so so pretty so this month was beltane and i apologize that i do not have the um little pamphlet that says everything on it but my daughter decided to Take up art to practice on it and scribble all over it so i was pretty sad but i did get some pictures of it before then so make and do so it came with a beltane herbal tea beltane salt that you will see in my beltane ritual that i will be releasing very soon in a premiere it came with the green fairy incense a beautiful beautiful candle some pieces of green calcite a gorgeous pendant and then this artemis perfume which i have been loving um it is in my beauty bag so that i use every day and i love it the witch's box the witch's box is very much different than any of the other boxes i received because it is actually focused on a specific ritual um, I guess the Sugar Muses is also, um, and maybe even the Midnight Muses is also focused on a ritual, but the vibes of this box are definitely different. Um, and during the deep dive at the end of the month, we also commune with all the other witches that purchase this box and are subscribed, and we get to talk with the creator, Elena, and then Elliot. So they are amazing, amazing people and they really dive deeper and cover any questions and give you their really in-depth experiences um, for this ritual and the magic and the tradition behind it. So I absolutely love that. So the star of this month was obviously this, oh my gosh, amazing green onyx mortar and pestle. Like look at this beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and it came at an amazing time i um had just been looking at a for a stone mortar and pestle because i have a wood one and this is um what i was looking for to kind of be able to crush up maybe harder different harder herbs like knees or cloves or different things that um a wood mortar and pestle might not be strong enough to um crush up into a finer powder so i was so excited to have received this it came with a little crystal magnet this spoon i have used Used so many times um, throughout my different spells and rituals that I do kind of daily. Came with this super cute um, spatula that says Witch's Brew, and then Catnip and Alf Alpha, and then this book. I am so excited because it came with The Magic of Food by Guion Raven, I believe is how you say the author's name, and they will be joining us in the deep dive this month. So I'm so, so excited about that. We will get to meet the author of this amazing book, and it is very cool, very in-depth for certain different things, different ways to use kitchen magic, different recipes, um, and it's just a really cool book in general. So, so that is everything. I will give you a once over of all of it together because Look at this amazing, amazing haul this month. Absolutely love it. All right, my honey, so I have chosen the items that I will be giving away this month. 
So we have our candles from The Witch's Moon and The Witch's Roots. Super, super pretty um, blue pillar candles for drawing in health and between you and a family, your family or your friends or whoever you might not be really physically close to right now, but you can be spiritually close and actually help them with their healing as well. So that is a beautiful, beautiful gesture that I absolutely love and it's so perfect for right now. And then I have another little surprise. So back in, I believe it was March for In Bulk, I had a Witch's Bounty pendant that I didn't quite feel super attached to, but I wanted to save it for a future date. Um, and I think Beltane is a beautiful time. My girl Sophie gave me the idea to maybe give it away during one of the Sabbaths. And I think Beltane is a beautiful time to give it away. So this month I will be also giving away this beautiful, beautiful cherry quartz pendant from the Witch's Bounty. It's really so pretty, but I just, you know, something, sometimes certain things just, the energy doesn't speak to you the way that it could somebody else. And I wanted to save this for one of my beautiful subscribers that could really enjoy her energy. So there she is. And I believe that is a little garnet up in there so beautiful piece this pendant was very focused on Bridget I believe so got some good fire energy there which is still very relevant so this will be going in the giveaway for this month to whoever the beautiful lucky winner is so make sure you head over to my Instagram and check that out um, and then go down below and leave a comment which item was your favorite this month or which box if you cannot decide because I sure can't ever decide. And then let me know what your Instagram handle is so I know how to find you over there and let's get to our ritual.
because of the time and the my kind of situation right now where I don't have all my tools that I normally would, I am doing kind of a shorter, simplified version of this um, while I'm still in this house because we are moving next week. So I really wanted to get some work like this done and also be able to put some of my items that I got this month to use. So I hope you enjoyed this little spell. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was really nice to kind of get back into my work because I haven't been able to do anything like this for a while now, like a real actual spell just for myself. So I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. If you liked it, then please subscribe. It helps me a lot and it helps me know what content I should continue putting out there. So also drop me a comment down below and like this video or dislike it if you didn't like it. If you have any recommendations or anything you would like to see in the future, any experiences of your own with um, this type of spell, because I'm sure there are other people out there that would benefit from your knowledge. I highly recommend that you do your own research and continue seeking knowledge out there because there is so much as a witch, there is really no end to the um, different things that you can learn. So that is one of the beauties of witchcraft and your own creating your own practice. So thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you later. Blessed be. Bye.